So it is the world first 7 nanometer chip which powered the mightiest iPhones 10s, 10s Max launched recently. So if you want more details, so stay tuned for the video. You are watching Texion. I am Karan and let's get started. So in year 2017, A11 was launched by Apple, which comprises of a Theonic architecture and introducing this world to the concepts of NPU, right? So it has a dual NPU at that time. This time, Apple has gone further. It has launched the A12 Bionic chipset, which is the world's first 7 nanometer built chipset competing with the likes of High Silicon Kirin 980, which is not launched or which is not in any smartphone yet. But this CPU or this processor is special because it's firstly it's a hexa core coupled with a 4 core GPU along with an 8 core NPU, which is a massive increase from 2 core NPU in the A11 chipset. And while the old neural engine could crunch through only 600 billion operations per second, this A12 can handle a 5 trillion operations per second, which is massive and definitely the best in its class. So this is almost a more than 50% increase in performance which we can see in the A12 Bionic chipset. By the last year smartphone chip from the Apple A11 consisted of 4.3 billion transistors, the A12 packs on 6.9 billion transistors on a single SoC. The standout feature which was the neural engine built into the SoC which powered the iPhone 10, smartest features like Face ID and Animojis was launched in 2017. So, with a massive increase in transistors and decrease in the footprint of the SoC, we can have enhanced capability, enhanced AI built into applications by the developers. So definitely considering this, A12 is a solid upgrade that rides on TSMC's or you can say Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Corporation's node and making. Apple has chosen a more integrated approach this time and definitely Apple machine learning framework also known as CoreML runs some 9 times faster on A12 Bionic as compared to A11 chipset previously which means that there is more performance on tap for the developers to put their AI abilities into use. So guys, what's our your opinion on this ATL Bionic chipset? Apple has not furnished more details about this chipset now, but considering the fact that it's built on 7 nanometers, packing a massive 6.9 billion transistors, this thing is definitely a breakthrough in technology. So if you have any opinions regarding it, please put them into the comment section. Thank you for watching the video. Do share, do like and hit the subscribe button.